Hello and welcome to this video. Keen and I thought we would jump on and record uh, a short video to answer some of the questions that you might have around the Wheel Consent event that we're running 22nd to the 24th of September in Salford, Manchester. So um, we have three questions to ask, which we're going to each have a go at answering. So we're going to see how it goes. So uh, Kian, hello. Hi. The question, first question, question number one is, what is the Wheel of Consent? Hi, Sean. Thank you. The Wheel of Consent is a model developed by Betty Martin, and it's a way of taking apart who is doing an action and who it's for. Um, so it creates a kind of laboratory of experimenting and being really clear about who asked for something and who it's for. Uh, in, and the learning that can come from that is often surprising. Uh, and I found it very useful in life. How would you describe it? Wow, that's the thing about the wheel of consent. It's not easy to describe and it's so vast in its nature. So it's quite tricky to kind of narrow it down to a few words. But I suppose for me, the wheel of consent helps me to understand relationships. So we kind of take things apart, like you said, and begin to identify who is doing what for who and why. So that works really well in relationships, like as in touch. Uh, it can work really well in, in relationships with our children, with our parents, with our family, uh, and with our co-workers. And it helps us to understand and get a grip of things like, why don't we ask for what we want? And what do we do instead? and understand some of the patterns that a lot of us have around people pleasing and doing things because we feel obligated but do we really want to so it's really useful in in understanding all of the nuance nuances that we have in our relationships so yeah it's very exciting great thank you and what has the wheel of consent done for you well, it's changed my life. Oh, um, I didn't realise this until I started under, understanding a little bit more about the Wheel of Consent, but I really struggled to hear a no from anybody about anything. So painful, the, the sense of rejection and the kind of not understanding that, that people saying no to me was just about them taking care of themselves. But I used to take it as like the worst thing possible. I'd be devastated. And, you know, gosh, <laughs> yeah, when I think back to some of my responses to receiving a no, you know, I feel I, I realize now that this tool has helped me change my life. And in terms of relationships, just I feel so much more relaxed in relationships because I feel able to ask for what I want, to receive a no, to be able to negotiate and understand. It's just changed my life massively, yeah. And so, Kin, <laughs> uh, what's the Wheel of Consent done for you? It's also been transformational. So in my personal life, it's helped me to... It's transformed my understanding of language and how I use language. So uh, I'm now much clearer when making requests. And I'm really aware of where there's a kind of muddy or ambiguous request like if i say do you want to sh shut the door that's not entirely clear uh because it's me that wants it not you uh so it's been really useful to kind of look at how i make requests how other people make requests and how we can be clearer about it mm -hmm. uh and professionally i teach the certificate in sexological body work uh and it's absolutely central to to what we teach and how we teach uh it provides a context for how touch might occur um and when i'm working with people I often begin with exploring the will of consent as uh, for many people it's 
difficult to or challenging to tune into what they might want to happen next and how they might ask for it uh so in a workshop situation it's a really great opportunity to just play with these things and practice making requests and seeing what's difficult what's easy what's hard uh yeah like that sounds great have to have to say my life took on i mean i've done lots of tantra training and professional training and um, counseling training and you know sexological body work and all kinds of stuff i've been doing working as a professional but it wasn't really until i settled into the wheel of consent that things really took on a, a whole new perspective it's just been an incredible tool for me yeah and my clients obviously so yeah brilliant do we have another question what can people expect at our workshop Great question, especially as I know the first time I went, well, the first few years of going to workshops, I used to be terrified going in because I didn't know what to expect. So yeah, it's a really great question. So um, we will go through some practical touch-based exercises and we will do some theory and we intersperse the practical with the theory. So you're not all just doing theory and you're not all just doing body work. The thing I guess people need to know is that it's fully closed, this workshop, no clothes, no nudity, no sexual touch. And it's all platonic touch. And the whole point is that you get to practice what it is that you want in any given moment. So you never have to do anything that you don't want to do. In fact, the, the entire practice is, is, is just that. How do I feel into what it is that I need right now? And how do I either say no or ask for it or say yes? So um, there's plenty of time for you to take time out. You'll be in the space with around 20 people all together. Plenty of breaks, time out, safely held space. Uh, you and I work really well together. So, and you know, it's going to be fun. It's going to be some challenges and it's going to be fun too. So, yeah. So, uh, that's my perspective. <laughs> so uh, what can you add to that, Kian? What what can people expect at our Wheel of Consent workshop? Thanks, Sean. Yeah, I also often find Wheel of Consent workshops fun and a bit like a laboratory. Um, so it's possible to have a cognitive understanding um, of the Wheel of Consent. And for me, for it to really land, it's important to for it to land in the body by having an embodied experience by involving the body. So that could involve uh, touch or asking, making requests. Uh, and it's mostly about prioritizing and practicing feeling into what I want mm. or what you want, uh, practicing putting it into words. So that's more important than any, any touch that may or may not happen. Mm. So no touch is required nothing's required uh and it's a practice so if you've been to other wheel events then we welcome you to come to this one too so i've been to um many many workshops and i always learn something because mm. i'm always new uh and it just seems like it's not something that you get and you got it it's an ongoing for me, it's an ongoing learning. So that's a really rich mm. model to explore. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. It's not something, it's not like uh, maths or science or uh, massage even. You know, once you once you learn it, you have to keep practicing it in order for it to really settle into the body. So uh, for you to really be able to change the way that you relate to other people using this as the tool. So yeah, absolutely. Um, so 22nd to the 24th of September, that's a Friday, Saturday and Sunday, uh, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day in Salford, Manchester. And um, we'll put the booking link up at the um, end of this video. But yeah, um, really looking forward to working with you, Keen. Yeah, and likewise. also... And also 
to working with these amazing people who are trusting us for three days to take them through this uh, beautiful experience. So, yeah, um, looking forward to it. See you there. <laughs>